Okay, uh, welcome to TokyoCanadians.com and today I am going to feature this great event, the Royal Winter Fair. I was told from my friend that this is one of the biggest agriculture festivals in the world. Uh, definitely the biggest festival here in Canada. Let's find out. And I'm standing with Michael, and Michael is a beekeeper from Toronto Beekeepers Cooperative. Yeah. So Michael, um, you and I behind the scene, uh, we were having a really great conversation about why bee is really critical to the lives of human beings, right? Yeah. So can you elaborate? Can you just you know break it down for our viewers? Bees have always been an important component yeah. of uh, agriculture. Yeah. Going back. Uh, thousands of years to the very beginnings of human civilization and certainly earlier than that. Honey was the only natural sweetener that we had until we began harvesting sugarcane and bringing sugarcane from the Caribbean. In terms of our modern lives, bees pollinate one-third of every plate full of food that we eat. So if you can imagine uh, the disappearance of the honeybee, it would mean that one-third of all our food sources would immediately disappear and others would probably follow shortly thereafter. So in terms of modern agriculture, in terms of um, how we live from day to day, bees are an essential component of our food source and our good health. Because honey is uh, one of nature's miracle foods yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, it has all kinds of antibacterial and antimicrobial properties that are essential to good health even today, even yeah. in today's modern society where yeah. we can get all kinds of vitamins and minerals and yeah. supplements, honey is still the best natural food source. So, the, uh, like there are a lot of honeys, right? Uh, the taste is a little bit different. Maybe some honey is a little bit thick, some honey is a little bit thin and light, maybe yes. like a dark. Can you, yes. can you explain about the difference between light and dark and just, you know, like different kinds of taste and flavor of honey? Honey is very much like wine mm. in that um, you have different types of honey just as you have different types of grapes. Yeah. Some wines are darker and more full-bodied, other wines are lighter, yep. uh, some wines are dry, some wines uh -huh. are sweet. Uh, in the same way, honey can be very dark uh -huh. depending on uh, what time of year it's gathered, depending on what type of flowers are uh, the pollen and the nectar is okay. gathered from. Um, and uh, so for example, typically earlier in the year, when bees are taking nectar from cherry blossoms and apple blossoms, the honey will tend to be light later in the year, later in the summer. Uh, as different types of plants come into season, uh, the honey will typically be darker. Uh, <coughs> so, so a which lot. Which you like better, like a light or dark one? Which I one? like all kinds of honey. I'm uh, not okay. very particular. There's at no all. like a point to point between dark. Honey and uh, light honey? There might, there might be price differences depending on what kind of flowers the bees take the honey from. So depending uh, on the plants. So um, some honeys are called specialty honeys okay. because they're taken from particular types of flowers. Uh, um, other honeys are gathered locally, uh -huh. but it's always best to buy local honey. Um, it, if you're in any way allergic, it helps with your allergies. Okay. There are all kinds of health benefits from yeah. buying local honey. Okay. So support your local beekeeper. Oh, yeah. Of course, you know. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your really great explanation and time. You're a busy person. Thank so you thank you, very. Michael. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, I was with Michael. And then, please, you know what? Honey, very important. Just go and check out research. Honey is really important. Okay, take care. Bye.